Calvinism. I could go all day long on about Calvinism, but let's just see what the, uh, the product of that is. There are some people who say only the elect are saved. I agree that only the elect is saved, that the elect is Christ. Uh, this Calvinist idea that there are people who are just predestined to go to heaven and the rest of the world is predestined to go to hell. And you, you look at <clears throat> you look at the different um the ratio of that where it's only an extreme few that go to go to heaven and the rest of us go to eternal torment. God has made us to go to torment. God created us specifically to go to hell. Uh Orthodoxy totally rejects this. Uh Christ said, go throughout the world and preach the gospel that all might be saved. Uh, all your theology runs dry at that point. I mean, this is my argument to the Calvinists, and my argument against the Toll House is the same thing. Paul says otherwise to the, in the book of Galatians, Paul says otherwise to your, uh, to your Toll Houses, and to the Calvinist Christ Jesus said this. I mean, you can do backflips, and, oh, you really meant this, but, it, I mean, orthodoxy is the only faith, faith that actually, only, religion that actually takes Christ's words at face value. Okay, we're going to go do it. And then be like, oh, but there's not a, you can't knit together the theology in a nice package. Well, we'd say love, but love you can never do that with. Uh, of course not. I mean, it's an experiential thing. It's not, you know, Calvinism, they sat down, they figured it all out, they got into the mind of God as if that were possible. And that's how they act. And it really is a joke. I mean, is this Christianity? No. Uh, this is abuse. I mean, I feel horrible for the people who actually believe this stuff. Uh, you go, th you believe in a loving God that is creating the majority of the world to go straight to hell. Why worship Him? What do I, tell Him to go f off and make hay, eat, drink, and be merry? I mean, what the hell is that? Why worship a God just because he's more powerful? Ridiculous. Oh, you don't have all the answers? So then you can't believe in God unless you have all the answers about him. Well, we think the opposite way. We think if you've got all the answers, you're, well, first of all, you can't do that. You're wrong. And second, it's an idol. So, it's useless. Okay, you've now discovered that your God is evil. So then you have to obey him because... You're the only one saved. How do you know that? I know. I'm so, well. What? How, what great arrogance! I mean, the non-Calvinist Protestants that say they're saved say I didn't do anything to get saved, did anything to go to heaven, going to heaven. Clearly, just because the blood of Christ, I put all my faith on Him, and I bet you those people will bear fruit, which is their works. I mean, I can understand. That's, that's almost a mystical form of, of orthodoxy. I, I get that. If you're so inspired by the love of God that he would, you know, that he shed his blood and you you don't care about sinning anymore, you just want to go do good, uh, it's like the holy fools. I'm not going to speak against that. But th these Calvinists with this pre double predestination, does that look anything like anything Christ talked about? His, his love. Why, why did he die? I mean, what? God so God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. The world. No, but they, he really meant just these, these these people who they were fine anyways and I don't know. And I get called Pelagian, semi Pelagian. Go on with the name calling, that's fine. I whatever. Again, like is that I'll take your bullets. It doesn't matter.